Peridot. Is that what it's called? Not emeralds, but not nothing. Do you think he picked it himself? I don't know. Well, either he's got better taste in women's jewelry than a red-blooded man should, or someone's doing his shopping for him. Mr. Kessler, perhaps? <laughs> a little boshy fellow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's he got hidden under his woolens? <sighs> the Kaiser's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> you are a terrible influence. <laughs> How's your Harry? My hair is fine. How's yours? <laughs> oh, we should get some more cream cakes. Oh, why not? We can bring them back for the children. Not so bad sometimes, is it? What? The whole ball of wax. Marguerite. Madame Junet. Oh, you must assist me. In what? Where'd you go? Everybody knows everybody, isn't that swell? How's tricks, Lucy? Don't act like you care. She wishes to make a large purchase, but her credit, Mr. Thompson has made clear that he knows. What are you two whispering about? Americans don't whisper. I have asked Marguerite to help me to explain. Oh, she'll help. She's very helpful. Aren't you, Mrs. McDougall? Schroeder. Is that Irish for bitch? You are not at your best now, and you should leave. Oh, you're in charge of the lobby now, too? Lucy? My old friend Annabelle. You wouldn't steer me wrong, would you? No, I wouldn't. You're about as phony as that wig. Miss Danziger, you must stop now. You think that he's your friend? You think you understand him? And what if I did? Then you're the dumbest door I ever met. <gasps> The next time won't be nearly as pleasant.